All right, so it's the day after 420, also known as the only day in which we can switch out the existence of Hitler for lessons on how to turn random objects into a bong. And to celebrate the day, I've decided instead of smoking the usual dank, I'd rather trip balls on 20 smacks of LSD and have the wildest dream that NBA Youngboy dropped a 33 song album. But thankfully, that's only a dream, right? Right? <sighs> great. But yeah, for today's video, we gotta talk about Youngboy's the latest project, Don't Try This At Home, and see how many Benadryls it takes for me to see the hat man. <laughs> Alright, so when going through this album, uh, well, it's a young boy album. What more can you expect? I think the only thing that surprised me at this point is the fact that it has 33 songs on it, clocking in at around an hour and a half in time, which I think is absolutely ridiculous, even for young boy standards. And when trying to drag my feet through all of these tracks, there wasn't much here that actually wowed me or even gave me the slightest thought to want to put this project anywhere near my top 10. It just felt like another run of the mill Southern Trap album, relying on the same piano tempo and sad guitar strings to accompany heavy bass and 808s while young boy raps about the same things he's rapped about in the past 31 projects he's dropped in his entire career. And while I know I've had people call me a hater and saying that I don't get it and whatever, at this point honestly I'ma just go whatever you guys say and just accept it because I honestly don't have much positive to say anymore about young boys music. This project is boring, it's dull, uninspiring, repetitive, and lazy. And to have the audacity to drag listeners along for 33 songs of this MK Ultra psyop bullshit is genuinely insulting to me, to his supporters, and to young boy himself as an artist. And it's like every single time he attempts to bend to the audience to try something different, it just ends up being a slightly different rendition of the same mediocre mess he's been doing this entire time. And when going through this project, I feel like at this point, he's just giving up and is just throwing shit out there for anyone to consume like birds to seeds. Get us? I keep smoking. I keep rolling up. I keep smoking. I keep rolling up. I keep smoking. But as for the production, as stated before, it's nothing spectacular except for maybe on like two songs with those being rear view and what you say. But even with the former, it still relies on the same young boy song structure of sad piano and 808s because God forbid they do something else. It just gets a little more softer and melodic to help accompany the Maria the Scientist feature that I thought was nice. But as for the latter, what you say, it sounds like a completely different song from beginning to end in comparison to the rest of this album with an actually good beat that doesn't sound like it was ripped straight from the YouTube type beat sweatshop with the sense putting in major work while the bass hits hard with a nice rhythm to knock the speakers out of your 2008 Nissan Altima. But as for the other beats, yeah, they're all the same as I said before. It's like when Youngboy is deciding on what beat to use, it's like he's only deciding if he wants to use a sad acoustic guitar or a sad piano, and then just letting the 808 guy do the rest of the work. I mean, I bet they probably had to hold Youngboy at gunpoint just to use the beat for what you say, because it sounds nothing like the rest of this album. But I guess when looking past the beats, the mixing was alright, nothing sounded too drowned out or muddy, which I did appreciate, I just wish that kind of effort would be applied to every other aspect of the production. And then there were the features, which for the most part were the highlights of this album, with Youngboy tapping in with Mariah the Scientist, Nicki Minaj, Post Malone, and the Kid Leroy, just for most of them to completely outdo Youngboy on his own tracks. I think my favorite would have to be Post Malone on What You Say, with him dishing out a more melodic verse alongside some nice vocals that worked both well for the beat, while the Kid Leroy honestly just sounded like a Post Malone clone, but whatever. But as for Nicki Minaj, I feel like she was the one who was lacking the most, giving us a pretty corny punchline filled verse about getting sticky like a cactus or whatever, and it honestly did did nothing for the song as a whole. But overall, it seems that Youngboy has come back just to give us another dose of mid, and since I have nothing better to review today, I thought I'd make a formal announcement that I might not review another Youngboy project after this one. So to put this on a scale, I'm giving us a strong Youngboy out of 10, being his second dud of 2023. But how do you guys feel about Youngboy's the latest project? What would you rate it? Let me know down in the comments, like, and subscribe, and follow my gene Twitter, and follow Chocolate on Instagram for more illustrations. And on that note, I'll see you guys on Monday when I do a tier list on all Youngboy albums. Peace. Get the box!